No false starts here in heat three, and they are away down the track. Good start from Damien Warner, the Olympic champion. He's striding away in the middle of the picture, cuts the tape at 10.32 unofficially for Damien Warner. That's just outside his season's best, but he's top of the pile, and that's very, very important. I mentioned he was in the lead before he had to withdraw in Eugene last time around. It was 10.27 that day, so 10.32, very comparable here. And here is Pierce Lepage. Really close to a seasonal best. Not sure that's going to be an improvement, but certainly one of the guys on paper who's going to come in here and challenge for this world title. And Pierce Lepage of Canada probably thought he was having an all right morning. Just underneath the 16 metre mark. Good running by the German Etel, trying to put Victor under pressure. Lepage loping his way towards the finish line, searching for every tenth of a second. Good run, 47 plus bits. Good start from Damien Warner. Can he have a clean race? Kyle Garland in the middle, but here goes Damien Warner. There's a big hit there on one of the later hurdles. Damien Warner stays strong, though, 13.68. And that, for Damien Warner, is outside his season's best. It's a bit modest, but it's a second or so faster than Leo Neugebauer. And that's 130 points in favour of the two Canadians, roughly. Pierce Lepage here in round one. But good off Lepage that balanced. He uses his length very well and 50 meters is a lot of points. Lepage can really do some damage here. Wow, he's on a groove, he's just in a groove. If he's driving a bobsled, he's not hitting the walls, he's just streaking right down the middle. And wherever he is mentally, he just wants to stay there. For the first time in World Championship history, a Canadian wins the decathlon, Pierce Lepage, who tonight steps out of the shadow.